How are you, my internet family, and welcome back for another monthly favourites video. The monthly favourites is the time when I show you all the things that I've been liking and some things that are not really things that I can show you. Like Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, which is a new PS4 game, but it's not a new game, it's an old game remade. What are these fruits? Apples or peaches? Will we ever know? Maybe not. I have spent all afternoon on this and I'm throwing it in at the start because most of this video is like beauty and food stuff and uh, I have to get the nerdy bit out of the way. I have a lot running through my brain right now. My, my words are few but my thoughts are... <laughs> so yeah, playing Crash Bandicoot which is a very simple game in theory. Um, Like the buttons and the controls are really simple but it gets progressively harder as you go through the levels and uh, I was obsessed as a kid and I'm obsessed as a grown adult because um, it's helping me deal with uh, my racing thoughts this month. But yeah, on to the things that I can show you. Um, And also just for the rest of this video, don't mind the fact that my fringe is brushed over like this. I'm having one of those really annoying fringe days. A lot of you guys are asking me about getting a fringe because I have a fringe. Pro-life tip, don't change your hair just because of someone else's hair because I got this because of Zoe Deschanel and it's really hard to control sometimes. So sometimes I just do this and it's, um, it's a fail. First item of this favourites video um, is the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer self tan lotion it's enriched with chia oil which moisturizes your skin but um you guys probably know by now that i am kind of sort of an ambassador for rimmel and i work with them on an ongoing basis i love so many of their products and this is one of those things that is just kind of saving my life because i just don't have much time i'm always busy and in a rush and distracted and this tan it's one of those ones that i don't have to leave overnight so you might notice i'm a little bit browner than it usually right now it doesn't need a ton of time to develop and it, you don't have to then rinse it off you just basically apply it and it kind of has a color guide so you can see where when you have to like rub it in more so you don't leave yourself with streaks and stuff and um it develops a little bit darker over a couple of hours the actual application process is so quick though it dries in about two minutes not sticky not orange it looks natural looking and sun kissed and it lasts for nearly a week um so for me, like, I, in the summer, do like having that kind of sun-kissed little touch of, um, where I look like I've been out in the sun because I, I can't get a natural tan. I've said this many a time before. Yeah, it has got a lovely scent and, you know, most fake tans have that kind of icky biscuit smell. This one doesn't. Um, I like that a lot. And the fact that it has the chia oil in there so it's kind of nourishing my skin at the same time. Um, but yeah, it comes in two shades. So this is the light to medium one because I am a snowman. And I think you guys looking for a quick, easy, lazy girl option will enjoy this very much. It's 10 99 in shops. Next is a little lip combo by Charlotte Tilbury, which is a beautiful quite luxury cruelty free makeup brand that I have raved about for a long time on my channel I think I've gone through several of these since I started YouTube it's the pillow talk lip liner which is just a gorgeous lip liner for like enhancing your poutage it's natural looking and stays on for ages but um the main thing for for my favorites video this is my favorite it's the new pillow talk lipstick and uh, it took ages for Dublin to stock this but um they brought this out to kind of go in combination with the lip liner and I'm delighted I really love it I'm wearing it right now um, and it's definitely a, a bit darker than what you'd expect looking at pictures of it or whatever but um they're matte lipsticks right but they're probably the only matte lipsticks I've tried that are actually like creamy and non-drying on your lips I have gone off the really like liquid lipsticks and really matte lipsticks um in favor of kind of more glosses and stuff recently but this one um i really like to just maybe put a bit of gloss over this um yeah it's a more subtle version of that kind of 90s lip that was all the rage last year um i'm still on that and uh enjoying this a lot oh and from charlotte tilbury as well i just have to give a quick mention to this because I travel quite a lot and this is so handy it's the instant look in a palette five minute face on the go beauty glow palette thing this one and um if it's so much great shiz in there it has a mirror too but look oh it has this sculpt bronzer powdery yolk that you put like there to like sculpt your cheekbones and two blushes and highlight and then these eye colors as well um this one is a, a lovely sort of coppery-ish one coppery-ish and you um put it on 
to the the ball part of the eye. This is why I'm not a beauty guru. Sorry guys, I just suck. But yeah, then there's this kind of burnt looking brownie uh, shade to put in the crease and blend out and I have this all on today as well. Really high quality and, and there's just enough of them in there um, that you don't have to like bring a big bunch of products with you on the go. But yeah, like all you'd really need, you could literally get away with this and maybe um, a foundation and mascara and a lippy and like you could just fit all that into a teeny tiny makeup bag so um it's a bit pricey but i know how much use i'll get out of this because i go away so very much so um that's going to be definitely um a go-to product of mine all year long faux show sure. oh yes and i wanted to mention these as well because um i wore these a couple of times at events over the past month um I'm not a big fan of fake eyelashes, I'll be honest. They just kind of wreck my head and I can never get them on right. And I feel like they look just so obviously fake and it just, I don't, I just don't normally like them. But I really like these ones. So if you're any way like me with fake eyelashes, but you kind of want to have that enhancement, um, check out these ones. They're from Eyelore. They're the Eyelore Enchanted Camellia ones. Lovely and light is what it says on the package. But um, they're just kind of for the outer corner of your eye eyelash line so you kind of if you're doing the wing cat flick or something like the wing liner you can just pop them onto that and you can't really notice where they begin and where they end um but what I find with a lot of fake eyelashes is that they're always like too long and I always trim them wrong but when they're too long like they'd be jabbing into my eyeball and oh my god like I end up with these big red bloodshot eyes and uh, it's not it's not pretty it kind of defeats the purpose of wearing them but these ones are grand and um, I bought uh, a couple of them because they have like a sale in boots on where it's like two, three for two or something quite regularly with, with lashes. So uh, yeah, I love those. I think Fleur de Force, who's another YouTuber and she has a line of lashes, um, she has a similar one in her range as well. I have a shampoo here and I am going to do a hair routine soon of like the products I use and how I style it since it's been shorter and all that because I get so many questions but um this is what I've been using recently to protect the color and just kind of because it's it, a bit drier after getting it stripped up like the bleach to like lighten it I wanted to try something that would kind of tend to my own hair needs because you kind of have to adapt your products to whatever you're actually you need and this is the l'oreal Elvive color protect low shampoo gentle cleansing cream no foam no sulfates it has a linseed elixir and uva and uvb filters to kind of protect it from sun damage and stuff it's basically really gentle cleansing for your hair but it does feel weird using this i'm not gonna lie because i'm so used to sudsing up my hair with like foamy shampoos this doesn't do that it's like it's like putting on conditioner all over your hair. I got really confused the first time I used it. I was like, shite! My hair's been in quite good condition since I started using it, but I have definitely noticed that the color is lasting me quite a long time because I got um, a color throughout all the rest of the hair where he wasn't doing the lighter parts. And uh, that's stayed now for ages. Like I remember I unveiled the new hair color like last month. It's basically the same color. And yeah, so you put this on wet hair, obviously, and you massage it from your roots down to your ends and you leave it for three minutes and then you rinse it out. And it just kind of improves the surface quality of your hair. Um, so I thought I'd give that a little a little shout out. Right, so feminine hygiene, girls. Um, a lot of you told me and warned me about this, but um, I realized I was using way too many Lush products down below and let's just say it can cause a whole host of feminine hygiene issues, problems. That's as far as we're going to get into that. But um, I was talking to my doctor about it the last time I was in the doctor's um, and she suggested that for down there, you know what I mean, that I use this as a soap and also as like a moisturizer and stuff. It's called Silcox Base Dry Skin Relief. And it has, it reminds me of babies or like maybe my parents used to like use it when I was a little baby. There's no smell, but it has got a kind of a clean, almost, not hospitally, but it's just that there is a slight hint of, of smell, but it's the smell of no smell, if that makes any sense. It says that it can be used for prevention and treatment of dry skin or as a skin moisturizer or soap substitute. And in the ingredients, it's white, soft paraffin, purified water, and a couple of other weird kind of 
things but it's very simple and um just literally i started using this two weeks ago and the difference it's made to said issues that i had um is amazing so definitely if you find that overuse of perfumed fragranced um products in like your bath so too many bath bombs or if you've been using kind of um a harsh body gel down there and it's just not really agreeing with you just I would recommend this and it's something that I don't hear many people talking about or saying or sharing so um yeah I paid 50 quid to my doctor and she told me about this so I'm giving you that info for free so I went into the shops to get um one of the Alpro soya uh, ice creams because I kept seeing everyone post about them on Instagram but they didn't have any and I also had just run out of my um Ben and Jerry's peanut butter cup ice cream which I shared in my last food diary Friday like from the other day and oh my goodness I love that stuff but it just doesn't agree with my stomach you guys know this I try and avoid dairy when I can sometimes I don't big deal but yeah I always have the issues when I when I go there so I wanted an alternative and I found this and it's called perfect world double chocolate chip um and it's an ice cream but it's not like cream the ingredients has like coconut milk it has got free range egg yolk in it which I get on fine with uh, egg but it's like almonds cashews cocoa powder chocolate chips and then it has sweetener so there's no added sugar in this but yeah this is gorgeous it tastes like brownie batter or something and yeah it's dairy free gluten and wheat free soya free low in salt blah 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 and um it has protein and iron in it and stuff but I, I know it's not a health food it's a treat but as far as treats go it's it's bloody delicious and it I don't feel bad after I eat it I don't feel sick um so yeah you have too much of this though and you're gonna come into some issues um because anytime there's sugar-free like there's sweeteners in there so xylitol um, not aspartame which is the one that's in coke diet coke that a lot of people avoid but xylitol overuse of that let's just say you won't be getting off the toilet anytime soon so go easy on it but uh it's lovely next to last i have these and i know this is a really weird thing to put into a favorites video but uh they make me excited to get out of bed and drink water because the first glass of water in the morning sometimes i'm just like oh i don't want this i want orange juice or i want just coffee or something but i know how important hydration is for health skin um how good you feel everything like that you have to drink water a lot of it um so i have one of these in my drink in the morning in my water it's an effervescent zinc and vitamin c tablet so it's just a supplement and it has vitamin c um a thousand milligrams which is really high and vitamin c has so many benefits just like do a quick google and yeah it's it's so so good for you then it has zinc as well and a pleasant orange flavor and it just kind of makes the water almost taste like fizzy I, fizzy orange or something fizzy orange i wonder if that's an irish thing to say sparkling orange what it's meant to do is aid in the reduction of tiredness and fatigue um but yeah i do be buzzing and i have also started doing this for my tiredness which i discussed also in my last video but uh my last favorite is the gym and yes this girl who used to despise the gym and was terrified of ever going back there after horrible experiences in the past when she used to um, subject herself to excruciating workouts because she was controlling and had awful body image issues uh, yeah she likes the gym now and it's making me feel really really good so I joined a gym a local gym in Skerries which is where I live in Dublin they do all these classes which are so cool like TRX circuit training and high intensity interval training and spin which is on bikes so if you're someone who like just wants to get out of the house and go and work out with other people um, it's really really good and because I work from home um, that can get a bit lonely and isolating so it's kind of just really nice to have to like leave and go somewhere where there's other people and then I got given a gym plan and like what I said to him was I just I want to get real strong I didn't want to just fanny around with the little two pound weights and run on the treadmill I want to get strong so he has me now on this um, little plan and it's like deadlifts and squats with weights and all that kind of thing and he also has me on this little high intensity interval training workout as well which is just four minutes long but it's what I picture like soldiers doing and army men um so like squat jumps and burpees and all that kind of thing um it kills me I've only done it once so far so I'm looking forward to four or five weeks of this and I don't mean I'm stopping then I mean then I have to like up the weights and do more but um I'm I'm loving it and 
uh, I kind of just feel like your attitude to the gym is what changes your experience of it. So if you're treating it as like, I have to go and I have to burn X amount of calories and stuff, you're not going to like it. But if you're treating it as, you know, some you time, for example, like if you want a bit of time to yourself where you're like in the zone and tuning out everything else that's going on in the world, or you're using it as an opportunity to become stronger and um, increase your energy and your endurance and stuff, it's just about that little mind switch and flipping things like a pancake this way. Um, I've been talking way, way too long, so I'm going to let you go. But yeah, what are your favourites from the past four weeks? I'd love to know. Please do share them with me down in the comments. I meant to say goodbye there and I just didn't. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>